What's up guys? Today I got a real cool video. I decided to do a whole video showing all my props, how I do my displays, different things I use for my setups, just things I have in my personal collection. So make sure you watch the whole video through because I'll shoot this section and then I'll show weapons and I'll show maybe larger props. So make sure you try to watch the whole thing through. Let's just jump right into it. I'll start off with some of the smaller things and more common things right here that you see in front of you. And I'll go through it as quickly as I can. So hopefully you enjoy this video, guys. All right. Um, I like to use things like from the WWE accessories, little luggage case, pretty cool little props. Got like little lockers, opens up. These really set when you're trying to make like an office or something like that. We'll just set the stuff aside as I let you check it out. This is from one of the Spider-Man movie figures. His little scooter that he was riding to work with the pizza. Opens up right here. It has four pizzas in it. They do shout out, shoot out like little disc. If you press this button right here, you see. Like so. I probably knocked something down just now. <laughs> That's cool. I'll find that later. There it is. What else do we have here? We have a lot of cool little things that I like to use, you know, and just kind of see what I can work with. Of course, we have these barrels that came from the Dollar Tree. I have five of them. I haven't customized them yet or painted them yet, but I will. Just kind of wanted to stock up on a few of them first. So they're pretty cool little things. So move those right out the way. So I'm just throwing it back in a little bin as I do it. Another little wrestling prop is a barbell. Really cool. Good detail on it. Real hard metal plastic. I mean, metal bar, plastic plates. Pretty cool. What else we got? Of course, we have like lighters. I have several different ones that have came with like different hobgoblins or green goblins. So those are always cool to have in your setups. Um, let's see. This little camping set that I got from Walmart. It was like $7 for the whole little set right here. And it did come with a few other things. It came with like a little dog and another little table and stuff. But I, don't, I didn't like that so I didn't keep it. A little cooler it comes with. The cooler does open up. This is more for three and three quarter scale. A little table, picnic table. Comes with a cot. Just real solid hard plastic so you can you don't have to worry about it sinking in if you put a figure on it. Came with a little fire. When if you want to like have them camping or something like that. Little, another chair. And then this pop-out or pop-up tent. You can probably get like two, three and three quarter figures in there. So that's pretty neat. And it was only seven bucks at Walmart, so not too bad. All right, moving right along. What else we have? We have little, little Popeye arcade machine. This is probably better scale for like three and three quarter. Marvel Universe or something like that. It's a little smaller, but if you angle it right, you might or maybe elevate this up. You probably can use it. Like so... That's pretty cool. Not too bad. Just a this is a tin candy dispenser actually. And I just took it pops out the bottom. I just took all the candy out and I just figured, you know, it was like a dollar or two, so not too bad. What else do we have here? Oh, here's another glider. Came with the movie Green Goblin. Pretty neat, pretty cool. We have stuff like this little teleport or this dimension. This came with a blink figure. Pre-Marvel Legends. But if you want to have something like an effect of teleportation or some kind of warp zone or you know galaxy or Milky Way type thing or black hole, this is perfect. It has a suction cup on the bottom. Pretty cool. Um, this came with one of the Muppets action figures. Clifford. And he came with other accessories too. It's like a director's chair. Perfect for six inch scale figures. They fit in it perfectly fine. Like a more skinnier guy, you know, that's not too wide or whatever. Fits in there perfect. 
So stuff like that definitely adds a nice little flair to your to your setup. We have some skeletons, about five, maybe six inches tall. I actually got these from the dollar store off of a like a Halloween garland or something that you hang across your door or your banister. And it was like seven of them, so I or eight of them. I have some of them in a setup over there, and these are what they look like. They were on a string all attached through the neck, and I just cut the string, and they're perfectly little five or six inch scale skeletons. They're close enough, you know, they're dead anyway, so. So that's that. Of course, we have like, you know, stands and everything that comes with Spider-Man figures. It's like a billboard. Pretty neat. Another skeleton thing. And, uh, display stands that come came with the Marvel Select Hawkeye. I really like this one. I can't wait to do some setups with this. Pretty cool. Maybe use like a Marvel Universe Ant-Man or Yellow Jacket or something so the scale will be right. Pretty neat. And then we have, of course, this. Came with the safe. This came with the Marvel Select Black Cat. Has like a stack of money in there. Came with a diamond. Came with some pearl suit or somewhere around here. So anything like that just adds to it. This bike is perfect for six inch scale legends figures. Motorcycles got it from Walmart for like six or seven bucks. Pretty cool. I like to put Deadpool on it, or I think the last person I had on this was Blade. And he looked really good up there. Of course, you know, like little brooms. I think I just got this off of a piece of home decor or some beach resort little wooden sign. So that's cool. So yeah, now we're going to check out the other section, so stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, so now we have some of more of the larger props or some of my favorite props. I love, love, love these chairs right here. Came with the Morpheus from Matrix, the McFarlane one. So I got a couple of them. Perfect for all your action figures, setups, and stuff. Just a real good chair. Put Norman Osborn in there, anybody you want. Come with the table, the telephone. So, as you can see, I have Cyclops sitting in there, fits perfectly. Another table, they just make any scene that much better, in my opinion. We have the throne in the back that came with the Marvel Select Doctor Doom. This came with Colossus, and Danger Room pieces, the table from. The Spider-Man movie, J. Jonah Jameson. Picnic benches as well. X-Men Evolution figure came with a Nightcrawler. So that's really cool. Perfect for your larger scale figures. What else we have? Castle Towers. Of course, everyone has this in their collection. So Then we have this telephone booth right here. Now this was a, a gift that my dad had gave me. Looks like it came from a, maybe like a train set or something like that, large scale, but it's perfect. All wood, plastic for the windows. Doors open up like this, has a little phone inside if you can see it, a little wooden phone. It's perfect for like your action figures. Clark Kent can go in there. I still haven't done a display or setup with this yet. Surprised I haven't used it yet, but he fits completely in there or Superman fits in there as well. So that's really cool. Definitely one of my favorite pieces for the action figures. Let's move that guy to the to the back. And we'll check out some other things. Um, also, I like to use flight stands. A friend of mine made these for me, different sizes. He hooked me up with all different sizes. Tall, tall ones, medium size and so forth, even real small ones like this for Marvel Universe. It's perfect. And he gave me all different ones. I'll try to pull some out real quick so you can see. Like real tall. You can get these real high flight poses, medium size. So definitely shout out to him for making these for me. Real good guy. Here's like smaller ones if you want somebody closer to the ground or 
falling but still kind of up, elevate it. So those are awesome right there. Fit perfect. Pretty cool. Well crafted. We got things like little serving platters put like little food things on, dishes and whatnot. This is something just to go like on a coffee table. Little books, Bibles, stuff like that. They make real cool props, little library setups. Little cell phone right here. This came with that Muppets Clifford, Clifford figure as well. A nice little cell phone. Hopefully, you can see that. Little Dollar Tree wooden table. Just painted it brown. Got dressers from the Dollar Tree. You can paint them whatever color. You can leave them this color if you want. Got all sorts of things. Ones with mirrors. Little coffee tables or a little sofa table. Got this globe from Hobby Lobby. Pretty cool. I like to put this with my X-Men. Have Beast or Professor X, you know, kind of standing around it. Gives it that more, you know, library feel, that office feel. We have little picture frames also from Hobby Lobby. Something simple but perfect up on a wall or something in your display. Little barrels and bins with these are rolled up maps. This came with the Captain Nemo playset. You can use it in whatever. The actual little maps, if you unroll them, they have little actual maps on them and stuff. We have what else? Little coffee dishes, Hobby Lobby. And like 247. We got little wooden chairs. These are actually candy dispensers. Little jackpot games. Take the stickers off or whatever. You pull the lever. Candy actually comes out. They're cool if you want to have like a little casino area. Maybe a little playroom for, for Tony Stark. We have flat screen TVs. I have a couple of these. I haven't opened this one yet, but one is open. Not too bad price, $6.99. They got the 40% off coupon, so comes with a little remote in the back too, as well. So real nice for like your six inch or three and three quarter. It would just be bigger for three and three quarter. Yep, yeah, pretty cool. What else we have here? We got little Coca Colas. They come like six or so in a pack at Hobby Lobby for like a buck fifty or something like that. Little cans. Let's see if we can get this thing out right here. We have an actual bottle of sodas and a crate. I think it was like $2. Each one comes out as 12 of them in here. So that's pretty neat. Perfect. Perfect for six inch scale. We got little food pieces in here, little bread and stuff like that, little props, loaves of bread, cheese. So anything like that adds to it. I think this is actually like a cigar. Right there. And also, we got, if I move this out the way, this is like a whole office set, all wood from Hobby Lobby. I have taken it out, but I just put it back in the plastic. It has like the wooden keyboard, little monitor, comes with the printer and stuff like that. The, the actual tower, chair, wooden desk. All the drawers open up. So that's real cool if you want that office look. Perfect. Hobby Lobby pretty much has all your little fixtures that you need. And one of my favorite pieces also from Hobby Lobby, I go there a lot, I know. I got the actual piano, and this is like perfect in scale for six inch. Let's see if you can see that. All wood, very well crafted. This lifts up. The note thing folds down, you can close it. So that's really neat. I 
other cool things that we have is, um, or that I have, I like to keep them in these little compartments organized. Makes it a lot easier for me when I'm trying to find something. So um, I normally label the tops. For example, this one says miscellaneous parts. So if you open it up, it probably has just some various things from shields in there to little effects, briefcases, stuff like that. So anything kind of miscellaneous goes in there. Buckets, more books, anything like that, little cell phones, chainsaws. So yeah, it just makes it a lot easier for me to find when I have it kind of squared away. Other ones might have, let's see, this one's labeled head and limbs. So it has like all the interchangeable hands, different heads that I've accumulated. Yeah, different stuff. So I try to keep them all in order so that way if I need to go to them or find them, you know, they're all in this little container. I can just go through it and pull them out accordingly. And then the one that I like the most is the one that's labeled guns, in which I have two of them so far. It's little with all the guns and weapons in there. That way, if I need to arm some soldiers or something, they're all in here. Different guns, shotguns in the bottom, a little bit of everything. That's that one. This one has a lot of like machine guns and stuff in it. Let's see. You can see that pretty well. Hopefully you can. A whole bunch of guns. So I try to stock up on those and keep them all in order. Some of them have been custom painted. My brother did a lot of those. So pretty cool. Never can have too much firepower though, right? That's that. You got things like these mounds of gold and treasure. These came with the Pirates of Caribbean figures. Um, really cool. Got little gold coins everywhere and pearls, golden cups, chalices. There's another one. So yeah, there you go, guys. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Just wanted to share some of my props and how I set up my displays and my, you know, different shelving systems and everything like that. Rate, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. Keep collecting. Always spread the love. It's always showtime in my world. Peace.